I mentioned in other posts that I like to render down the martial arts into its most basic components so that we don't lose uh, track of what we're trying to achieve. And for my money, what we're trying to achieve with the martial arts is to create force, force sufficient to uh, overcome our aggressors. Now, when it comes to creating force, then we should look at what is the major attribute of force. Well, uh, Newton's second law of motion states that force equals mass times acceleration. So we have the mass, which in our terms is weight, uh, and we have acceleration, which you might also call speed, but acceleration is more uh, descriptive. But I'm, I'm going to interchange a little bit between velocity, speed, and acceleration. So if force equals mass times acceleration, then for me, the thing that you cannot really control is your mass, but you can control your acceleration. So acceleration or speed becomes the most important thing in the martial arts. If we use that Occam's razor principle to cut to the, the most basic uh, and simplest um, point. Uh, once we've got that, then we have to think about how that affects what we do. Basically, it means that the faster you go, the more mass you create and that creates the force. This brings us to uh, another um, idea of uh, acceleration and velocity which is the uh, equation for kinetic energy which says kinetic energy equals half mass times velocity squared what that basically means is that if you double your mass you can double your force but if you double your speed you will quadruple your force so someone with a, a small mass going faster can potentially equal the force of somebody much larger. Now it's more difficult in, in actual uh, uh, process, in actual real life, but that's the basis to work upon. And that brings me then to what I call the, the rules of hierarchy. And the rules of hierarchy for me say that if speed is the most important thing in martial arts, then we need to look at those things that are obviously speed controlled. For instance, uh, a hand is faster than a foot. Therefore, punches take priority over kicks. A lead hand is faster than a rear hand. Therefore, the lead hand takes priority over the rear hand. If we're looking at in terms of setups and speed setups, then we can look at things like um, a right punch sets up a right kick better than a left punch sets up a right kick and a left punch sets up a left kick more efficiently faster than a left punch would set up a, a right kick so this is the process we need to think about in terms of martial arts so that we get to this point where we cut to the most basic essential element and then we can fit we can forget styles and uh, systems and uh, philosophies and traditions and we can get just down to what martial arts is all about. There's plenty there to study. Physics follows philosophy. There's plenty there to, for us to, to go at. But So that's it. Focus on force. And the key component of force is acceleration. So work on being faster and that will improve your martial arts.